All right, guys, so uh, first trap of, I don't even know what check day this is, but first first trap, it's got this big old fat possum in it. He's a big old boy, too. Um, what this is, this was a kind of a modified RJ set. Um, it's right here on the this fence area where all four of these fences come together. There's a two track that goes through here. Everything's coming together here. You got forest over there, which I'm not allowed to trap on. Um, hay field back there, field back there with some cows on it. I got another trap just on the other side there that we caught a couple coons in. And everything is going through this little um, area here because it's like a go-between where all these things are coming together. They're coming down all these fence lines and all this stuff. And uh, here's this field that's kind of growing up. There are a few cows in here too. And you can see there's a two track that comes down across the top of this hill, goes down through here through there uh, so it's a good spot and it has a big old possum in it so we'll take care of this big boy and uh, we'll put this back in place probably um, it's only going to ride for another one more check because then we're getting another blizzard coming through they're saying 10 inches maybe a foot of snow so i'm not sure what i'm going to do probably going to pop off the traps and because number one it's hard to get out and check traps when there's a foot of snow on the ground number two there's so much mud already between the snow and the mud i'm not even sure i can get through some of these fields and check traps and i mean here's the deal you only you really only need two things to be successful in trapping three things really good locations hard work and weather that cooperates this year the weather has not cooperated I've had blizzard after blizzard after blizzard. Um, and then in between there, I've had monsoon after monsoon, um, mud, snow, negative 20 with 40 mile an hour winds. I mean, it's just been a tough weather year. So toughest weather year I think I've had in four or five years. So we'll take care of this um, possum. We'll reset this and we'll get on down the line. All right, guys, here's the remake on this set. We just caught this big old fat possum. I just put the debris kind of on the back and down the sides because this is basically like a modified RJ set. Um, Redug out the dirt hole. You can see the dirt holes. It's pretty deep. The dirt is actually really good right here, just not something that happens very often in the Ozarks. But the dirt's really good right here. And um, so it said like a... 10 to 12 inch deep dirt, big dirt hole and um, put some predator bait plus from cave-ins and some violator seven down in the hole and the traps right here kind of in the front there's a catch circle here so it's um, plenty of plenty of visual as well as good bait and lure um, so we're good to go and hopefully we're going to catch a canine here tomorrow because then these sets are probably out of commission for a couple three days but we've got one more good night, so we'll see what happens. Okay, guys, so um, we're out checking traps, and we're pulling a lot of traps, actually. Uh, we're supposed to get up to 12 inches of snow tonight. And then uh, it's going to be not snowing for two days. And then we're supposed to get snow again. So the next few days are going to be pretty miserable trapping. So we're gonna, just going to pull most of our stuff and just start over again for the 5,000th time this season. Um, and, of course, we have possum 1 million and 5, I think. This is what we're up to. Uh, it's a pretty one. Got nice fur. It's got... Um, Looks like he has two feet in there. Two feet in the trap. Uh, at least not a tail catch, but two feet in there. So um, we're going to take care of this possum, pull this trap, and move on. We have another trap over there, but it's not been messed with since we caught that coyote in it the other day. Um, day before yesterday, I guess. So we'll take care of this possum, and there'll be no remake, and we'll move down the road. All right, guys. So we're out pulling traps today before the next big blizzard rolls in and where we are is we're down in this old bottom here you can see there's a creek that runs through here and all this stuff around here and uh there's an old cabin right up here 
and uh, there's a spring. Looks like two springs actually coming out of the ground right here. And uh, you can see here's one and they made like a, I don't even know what you would call it, but they clearly made like a little, almost like a little bathtub here coming out where this where the water of the spring comes out you can see all the water running through here and some of the water plants trying to grow in there and then there's another spring over there i'm going to show you that in a second but clearly this was made into kind of like a, a place that they could maybe stop up the water from the spring dip buckets into it kind of like a little makeshift kind of natural well where the water is coming out of the ground right here uh it's since you know, been busted up. I'll back up here a little bit. It's since you can see where all these other rocks were probably sitting right here, making this little well where they could dam up the water and dip dip stuff in it. Pretty interesting. And then up here, you can see what's left of the old cabin right there. And then right over here. is the rest of the spring right there coming out right there so i guess that's why they put their little cabin right here it's because they had water with these little springs and then right up here they had a little cabin You can see there's, looks like some old buildings that were over here. There's what's left of an old rock foundation of some kind of little building here. Maybe like a little shed or something. And it looks like there was another building right over there. This is like a, Looks like maybe a 1950s refrigerator or something. And then this looks, it's all caved in now, but this looks like a, uh, like a play, a storage place for, uh, canned goods and things of, things of that nature. Interesting. And then here is, I guess, what's left of the old cabin up here. whatever this old building used to be. Looks like it was not a cabin at all, but well, maybe it was at one point, but somebody turned it into like a chicken house. That's what it looks like. And I'm just basing that on this door that's on here with the old chicken wire. Some kind of building for animals, probably, for sure. And then maybe that was like the old cabin over there. And then this is like what's left of the old chicken house, maybe. Maybe that's what this was. Regardless, I like exploring these old homesteads. And as you know, I'm a history kind of buff. So, it's always all these plantings around the old homesteads and stuff I find very interesting. And this was probably, I don't know if this was the old cabin or what this was, but looks like at some point people, some people put water in right here there's the water. Maybe this was like the old kitchen area or something. Very cool stuff. Very, very, very cool. Very cool stuff. So, always interesting to check this kind of stuff out. So, I'm still exploring around this old homestead and 
a little bit farther downstream on this little creek, somebody's built like a little bridge right here. And you can see it doesn't it doesn't look like it came all the way across. Well, maybe it did. Maybe it did come all the way across because now I'm seeing some rocks here that looks like it maybe it did. But you can see they have like a little railing right there. And they made like a little, almost like a little bridge across the creek right here. Pretty cool. Pretty interesting, whatever they were doing here. <laughs>